I am teaching my kids how to be in relationship or remove yourself from unhealthy relationships very intentionally. Um, we talk about it a lot and um, they know it, they understand it. Um, and, you know, we'll see. We shall see. And so you don't, you don't want to do something like ha- give your kids the experience that Keith had, right? Where you say things with your mouth mm. over and over and over, right? And then you do something radically different. Yes. Yeah. No. If you think that things aren't working for you, being honest about it is better than is the best. trying to just go by the good parent handbook and, you know, do things that you think you're supposed to do as a parent when in reality you're questioning them yourself. So, mm. And can we also just back up to not the parent aspect? It's like relationships. Because before your parents were parents, they were, they were in a people. relationship mm-hmm. and they were people. And so the children had very little to do with why their relationship didn't work out, right? The children were bystanders and witnesses to the de- the devolving, the evolving, the ebbs and flows. But that was happening between them. Mm-hmm. And we can't forget that part. If you're in a relationship that's not healthy for you, then you need to do something differently. And like he said, be honest about it. Like you're teaching your kids, then remove yourself, change your location, set boundaries. Yes. Give less energy. Yes. Right. But it's like, you need to do that for you because the children are watching you. Mm -hmm. And so if you are um, acquiescing and contorting yourself, to just stay in the relationship for them, then you're modeling for your children that this is how you have a relationship. You're showing them unhealthy behaviors and that's their example for a relationship. Yes, yes. 